Hey, what's up everyone? Koban Armani456 here, recording another video. Today, giving you a news update. So, in this video, it's kind of been a long time since I've done a news update because I've been busy with Let's Plays and uh, just have been busy overall. So, I haven't been able to record as much as I would like to and um, haven't been able to record as many news updates as I would have liked to. But, you know, I'm just going to, in this video, kind of do a quick recap on what happened last week and then give some info, like some brand new info on stuff that happened recently. So, as you all know, um, there was a lot of controversy going on um, last week with Microsoft because there was a rumor going on that Microsoft is going to actually release a touchscreen tablet-like controller very similar to the Wii U, to where it's going to be a touchscreen controller, it's going to have the buttons from Microsoft controllers, and uh, it's going to be able, like, you'll be able to play games away from the TV and stuff like that. Play, like, a game in another room. Um, it's going to also play along as, like, a t like a remote or something at times. And then also it'll be compatible with Kinect and stuff. It's, it's basically like the Wii U. But um, one thing about it is that it's going to have an HD touchscreen. So... A bit one-upping Nintendo there with the screen, but um, this is all rumors and speculation. We don't know for sure, but I think there is a bit of credibility in this um, in this rumor because you know I think that there are people are trying to actually find different ways to do um, like gaming and stuff like that, different options and stuff to kind of stay competitive. I think Microsoft. Um, it's just trying to do that so that they won't be behind Nintendo like they were with Motion Gaming, with Kinect, which they released quite a few years later after the Wii came out, um, along with like Sony, PlayStation, kind of trying to catch up with um, Nintendo as well with motion controls. So I think that's what uh, Microsoft's trying to do, like try not to be so behind Nintendo, but actually, you know, it justified them releasing it by releasing it with uh, their brand new hardware. Um, we should see something at E3 2012, but what do you think? about that the whole idea of a touchscreen micro like touchscreen controller for a Microsoft system I personally don't like the idea I think it's pretty like a copycat move I mean sure there's gonna be technology and technology is always progressing to where people are gonna like um, use features that other people have in, um, like created and innovated and stuff like that but I still think it's very I just don't like the idea it's it doesn't really like, I just don't like the idea of two systems having touchscreen controllers. I want, like, one company to have something that's kind of, like, different from everyone else. Like, each company to have something unique about them. Which, with, like, Sony, it's with, like, um, Nintendo is kind of, like, their different ways of gameplay with Wii, motion controls, and stuff like that. Microsoft, it was kind of, like... Um, they were really big on like getting exclusive, like um, getting s online gameplay right and DLC and all that stuff. And just being like having a more polished online experience. While Sony has kind of been like the middle of the road to where they have a lot of exclusives like Nintendo as well. And then also um, they have better online than uh, Nintendo, but they're not better than Microsoft in my opinion. But... Yeah, I mean, that's what I just, I really don't like the idea of that. Like, I thought it would be pretty cool to hear, like, the Xbox 720 most likely having cloud gaming and stuff like that. And it may still support that. But, um, you know, just the touchscreen controller, I kind of find it unnecessary, especially when other people have bashed and stuff like that. One thing about it is that you can kind of make some, like, troll, uh, I guess, Microsoft fanboys or something like that who said, oh my gosh, a Nintendo Wii U controller's so big and ugly and stuff like that, which I don't think it's the prettiest thing out there, but I, I think it could lead to some interesting gameplay. I just don't like the idea of how, like, who knows, it may not be able to support multiplayer experiences with that controller. So that's what I kind of don't like about that, but, um, you know, you can kind of toss it back in Microsoft fanboys' faces, see how they react, because, I mean... Yeah, they're, most fanboys are usually hypocrites or make fools out of themselves, which is always funny to see. But I'm pretty interested in seeing what Sony could be doing. You know, maybe they'll do something like that. They could possibly pull something like that or they do a touchscreen controller as well. But I kind of find it stupid and, you know... I mean, I like the touchscreen controller for, I mean, if Sony released a touchscreen controller first, I would have liked that, and then if Nintendo probably did, it kind of would have been like, eh, I don't know about that, I wish Nintendo did something a bit different, more creative, so I'm not trying to be biased or anything like that, like some people are probably going to label me in this video, but, um, you know, it's just, it kind of seems like a bit too soon, I guess you'd say, and a bit of a copycat move, but, you know, what, what are you going to do? That's what people do, so... 
But uh, yeah, that, and um, also have some um, like have some info on uh, Sonic and Sega All Stars Racing, and um, there's a sequel coming out. Sega has confirmed, and it'll be Sonic and Sega All Stars Racing 2. Um, it was in a Kotaku report. Don't know when it's coming out, but um, we're supposed to be hearing more details later this year. No confirmation on what consoles it's going to be for, but considering how Sumo Digital had said they were developing for Wii U, PlayStation Vita, and 3DS, it, you can basically assume and. But, well, I mean, you can just basically just think that, you know, it's going to come on those systems, and I think it's very likely it will. Um, also have some box art of uh, Kingdom Hearts 3D Dream Drop Distance, so why don't you check it out right here. I'll put the photo up here. So, yeah, it looks pretty cool. Um, the game's supposed to be coming out sometime in March. I will be doing a Let's Play on that. Uh, I want to make sure that I actually watch some uh, Let's Plays of like previous Kingdom Hearts games so I can kind of get an idea of what the storyline and uh, like what the storyline's all about in the series. So I won't be totally clueless playing this uh, game when I Let's Play it. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that because I've heard a lot of good things about the Kingdom Hearts series and that it's a really good series. There are a lot of fans of that series, so I'm looking forward to that. Also, uh, Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater for the 3DS is confirmed to be coming, um, like the demo, is confirmed to be coming to the Nintendo eShop this Thursday, so stay tuned for that. Should be doing a video on that when that comes out. Also, uh, Miyamoto has talked about uh, Pikmin 3, how he's developing that for the Wii U. And he's talked about how he's really enjoying it and developing for that system because before he was developing it for the Wii. And uh, Pikmin 3, I think, was actually supposed to be originally a release for the Wii, but then was moved to the Wii U so that it can have HD graphics and stuff like that. And it can have the touchscreen, like take advantage of the touchscreen controller. And from what Miyamoto is saying, um, he's just basically said that he's really um, happy and pleased about about how he's developing for the Wii U and he's uh, very pleased with what's going on so far. So I'm looking forward to that. Pikmin 3 on the Wii U. Um, never have played a Pikmin, the Pikmin series. Um, I don't know. I just need to kind of get back, pop out my old GameCube and play some of those old games. But um, you know, a lot of people have uh, said that Pikmin has been a really good game and it looks like a fun game. And just seeing it in like HD graphics, CGI, like near CGI, real time graphics, 60 frames per second, 1080p, that's going to be pretty tight. So I really am looking forward to seeing that. Um, also, I want to go on and give a quick channel update. So uh, this week, actually, I have ordered a brand new camera. It's like a DSLR camera. Um, should be coming in hopefully sometime this week. I don't know, maybe Wednesday or Thursday. I mostly bought it though because I want it for PS Vita. Um, let's my PS when I do PS Vita Let's Plays when that launches, um, and I want to make sure that it has as much clarity as possible. Because I mean, this camera is pretty good and all, but um, you know, with 3D Let's Play like the 3DS Let's Plays, like my quality is really good, um, really accurate with the colors and everything. Um, but it's just that I want something with a bit more clarity. So hopefully even this new camera will record my 3DS videos even better. And another highlight about the camera is that I'm able to actually adjust the focus and the light lighting and exposure uh, while I'm recording. So I don't have to keep stopping my recordings and stuff like that to adjust something. Which I think will um, be a big help for my LPs when um, I start LPing uh, PS Vita and um, continue LPing 3DS games. And uh, also stay tuned for um, PS Vita Let's Plays. As I've said, I'm going to be getting Uncharted Golden Abyss doing a Let's Play on that because, um, you know, that's a, basically one of like the killer launch titles on the uh, PS Vita. And a lot of people are looking forward to it. And, um, you know, I had a lot of people saying in the comments on my Uncharted 3 um, finale that uh, they wanted to see Uncharted Golden Abyss. And um, they were wondering if I was doing that. Just confirming that I will be doing that. Also, we'll be getting a Wipeout 2048 to do videos on that. Online gameplay footage, probably with some other friends on YouTube. And, uh, I don't know. Um, I was thinking of getting Mod Nation Racers, but found out that game doesn't have online. So, which is really stupid because it's supposed to be kind of be like Mario Kart and stuff like that. But no online is a major bummer. I mean, for something that's brand new like this, a system that can support online and you're not going to put online in it, it seems very rushed. And, um, yeah, it's a launch title. So, still, I wish they spent their time to actually put some online in the game so it can increase replay value because I would be playing it probably a lot. Um, I mean, probably not more than Mario Kart 7, but, I mean, I'd probably play it a lot. But, um, 
yeah, I don't think I'm going to be getting it. I may look into getting Gravity Rush because that's got a good review score from Famitsu, like a 38 out of 40. Um, not sure if I will, though. I will see. Depends on how much money I have because uh, PS Vita is going to be pretty pricey. Uh, it's basically like going to be like over like a way over three hundred dollars for sure so um i'm just kind of trying to see what my budget's like so far so anyway uh that's basically it for this video thank you all so much for watching uh please remember comment like subscribe stay tuned for more vids walkthroughs and updates um let's play uh i'm gonna be doing a mario and sonic at the london olympics um hopefully tomorrow because that game's coming out tomorrow that was coming out friday turns out it was that was the wrong date i was thinking about i think europe so kind of got that mixed up but um, a lot of people have been also, just so wanted to also let you all know, I will be doing Sonic 06 because I got a lot of people in my comments below on the video saying they want to see me do Sonic 06 as my next side LP. So I may upload that, like do that, where I just upload Sonic 06 parts every once in a while, but focus on PS Vita and 3DS stuff since that's going to be what I will be really focusing on in February and March. But, um you know, upload a Sonic 06 part every once in a while, maybe like every like two days or so or something like that. But um, just stay tuned for that. I will be doing a LP on that. So thanks again. See y'all.